You're listening to the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, the Hot Commodity Ant C, and today we are covering all Elite Wrestling Dynasty from 2024 live in St. Louis, Missouri. This is the first Dynasty pay per view in AEW's history, so let's kick things off. The first match we have is for the AEW Continental Championship. There, the Continental Champion Okada defending against the Bastard Pack. And this is a great opening match. A lot of back and forth action. Pack hits the tombstone, but Okada grabs the referee. Pack stomps Okada, but Okada is able to land the Rainmaker to defeat Pack and retain the Continental Championship. I'm a big fan of Okada. These guys had a great match. I would like to see them run it back, but so far, so good. Good opener for Dynasty. Next up, we have the House of Black defeating the team of Eddie Kingston, Mark Briscoe, and Adam Copeland after Malachi Black sprays mist in Adam Copeland's eyes and hits the end. And Malachi pins the TNT champion, Adam Copeland. And I'm sure we're going to see more of these guys in the future. A crazy moment we saw in this match was when Brody King land a DVD on Smart Briscoe into the railing. Next up, we have the TBS Championship on the line. The TBS Champion Julia Hart defending against Willow Nightingale. Another back-and-forth action match, but the end comes after Willow hits a clothesline and a sit-out powerbomb, and we have a new AEW TBS Champion in Willow Nightingale. Right after the match, Mercedes Monet came out and faced off of Willow Nightingale, and at double or nothing, we'll see Mercedes Monet versus the new TBS champion, Willow Nightingale. Great action. I'm excited to see Mercedes compete next month. Next up, we have the AEW International Championship on the line. The Intercontinental, the International Champion, Roderick Strong, taking on Kyle O'Reilly, former friends. This is a great back and forth match, too. One of the better matches on the card. Roderick lands a drop kick and end of heartache to get a three and to defeat Kyle O'Reilly. After the match, the United Kingdom come out and Adam Cole comes out in a wheelchair. However, he stands up and now Adam Cole no longer needs a wheelchair. Next, we have the FTW champion Hook defending against Chris Jericho for the title. We saw a lot of crazy moments. Hook T-bone suplexes Chris Jericho off the apron through a table on the floor. Um, Jericho applies the walls of Jericho. Jericho lands a low blow, lands two Judas effects, says I'm sorry, but gets a two count. Jericho grabs a bat and says, don't make me do this. Hook gives him the middle finger, and then Jericho hits Hook with a bat. And Chris Jericho is the new FTW champion. After the match, Taz checks on his son. Hook. Good match. A lot of hardcore action. I like this one. Next, the AEW Women's Champion Timeless Tony Storm with Mariah May and Luther defends against Thunder Rosa. This is a good action-packed match. Tony lands a sky high. Rosa lands a crucifix bomb. Um, Mariah May comes out and distracts Thunder. So Deanna Peraza comes out and attacks Mariah May and Luther. Uh, Tony hits a backstabber and a, and a cobra clutch is applied. Tony hits a low blow and a storm zero. And Tony Storm is still a EW Women's Champion. Decent match between these two, although Tony Storm shouldn't. I mean, I don't get the whole low blow deal. It doesn't really hurt women. I mean, maybe I should ask one if it hurts, but it doesn't make sense why that would be the way it ended. But next up was the match of the night: Brian Danielson versus Will Osprey. Great, amazing act from these two. I definitely recommend checking this one out. The end comes when Osprey lands a running kick hard. A hard-looking, terrible-looking Tiger driver. It looked like it hurt Brant Danielson really bad. And then Osprey lands the blade. And Will Osprey defeats Brian Danielson. Amazing match. That's the match of the night. Check it out. Next, the AEW Tag Team Champions FTR defend against the Young Bucks in a ladder match. During the match, a fan in a mask pushes da Dax Harwood off the ladder. And the person takes off the mask to reveal himself to be none other than Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Young Bucks grab the titles and new AEW Tag Team Champions and the Young Bucks. It looks like Jack Perry might be joining this elite group. And we've made it to our main event, the AEW Champion Samoa Joe defending against Swerve Strickland. And in the main event, we have a new AEW Champion when Swerve Strickland hits a Swerve Stop and defeats Samoa Joe in a hard-hitting match. 
I was so happy that Swerve Strickland is the first AEW African American champion, and uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen on Dynamite. We have Double or Nothing next month. This is a decent pay per view. I do recommend checking it out. Most of the matches were good, and a uh, better pay per view of of uh, AEW so far. So with that, we'll be back with Dynamite and more episodes of Or Nothing is coming out next month. Until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.